Hello, Hates for Inner Web Kaiju here. Today I'm going to be looking at God Raiga vs. King Oga, released through SRS Cinema. This is the Blu ray case. As with their other Blu rays, it comes with a little card and a poster, which I do enjoy. God Raiga vs. King Oga is a 2019 independent kaiju film where monsters show up and then the humans try to combat them. First off, the disc itself looks pretty cool. I like this silly skull phone. One whole scene is done using non-realistic action figures, and I like it. It's also pretty early on, so it alerts the viewers to be prepared for some silliness. And there's lots of silliness in the movie. The music is fine and the sound mixing is well done. I did laugh at some of the dialogue. Hito is a lot better in this film and I do actually like this girl. Honestly, the characters and story in general are a lot better here, though still nothing extraordinary and far from anything that may make up for the rest of it. Quick note, one of the characters is played by Mark Jaramillo one of the heads of the Kaiju Gaiden movie that we've been awaiting half a decade for. There's still no scene selection on the disc. There's a lot of extra effects added to the Rago and Raiga recaps that look really bad. They should have just used the original scenes. Anyways, throughout, the digital effects are ridiculously bad and of lower quality than the two previously mentioned Kaiju films. Look at this. Really no excuse. Maybe it's for comedic effect, but if it was once really bad, it might be funny, but it's constant and distracting. Frustrating, even. Making it look less like an independent film and more like just a fan film. There's better default effects on video editing programs, and seeing how this premiered in 2019 just makes it all worse. The underwater scenes are awful. The fights range from being almost incomprehensible due to blurriness or overuse of effects to just looking terrible due to effects. All of the best looking scenes are from stock footage and many are used in multiple scenes. I'm not saying that Rago and Raigo were fantastic, but for Raigo vs Oga, through the majority of it is painful to watch. I wouldn't recommend unless you were a fan of Raigo, also there's high sequel tease at the end, so maybe we'll be seeing this in-movie universe again, eventually. Thanks for watching. Atami, what are you doing? I don't know. 